Good morning, folks. Dr. Phillips at SpaceWeather.com sums this up nicely. The CME impact was puny, but the geomagnetic storm was significant. While the experts are blaming a south-pointing magnetic filament within the cloud, we've seen those numerous times beforehand, and they've never produced the level of magnetic instability we saw two nights ago. I'll stick with the idea that the magnetic field is in trouble. By the way, go ahead and Google magnetic field in trouble. Cosmic rays are in flux with the waning space weather, not at scary levels or anything, just much more in flux than previous days. The solar wind shows a bottoming out of speed and density with the reverberations of the magnetic storm pushing the KP index back to 3, but the event is now past. Solar flaring went into a brief uptick, mostly due to incoming spots, including one on the limb we couldn't really see until this morning. Going right to left, we see a beta grouping down south, small and magnetically separated. That separation is even more apparent up north as we've got the size, but not enough mixing for big flares. Party at the limb calmed down as soon as it crested into view from Earth. Been seeing that for about three years now. Did you notice anything odd? Red negative leading up north, positive blue leading down south, except that is a positive blue lead in the north reversed polarity sunspot, and it's not just surface magnetism either. This is a signal that the solar pole flip may be complete. So we come to Wilcox, and what do you know? Positivity for the northern field. It was negative all last cycle, and therefore must be positive before we call this reversal complete, but it has done this multiple times already during this alleged solar maximum, the first of which was all the way back in 2011. The north field has taken three and a half years to get here, and for all we know, it'll go back to negative at the next update, but this is indeed encouraging for completion. Otherwise, calm star presented to Earth right now, eyes on that active region with reverse polarity and a couple of the plasma filaments. We're hopping over to the ESO, the European Southern Observatory, to zoom in on the Milky Way for a close-up of massive star-forming regions. Link for the full videos and article can be found below. This is mind-boggling, plankton on the ISS. My, what strong airflow you have, Grandma. All the better to spread plankton on your space station, my dear. How about a follow-up to what we knew was coming? Paper on life under the ice, devoid of sunlight, with tremendous implications for life on other planets and moons. Looking in the East Pacific reveals three storms. The one in the middle, Lowell, by far the most expansive. Carina still slated to swing back north toward where Lowell is heading, while the newest low should trek just off the coastlines. Remember that flooding in the U.S. southwest the past couple of days? It was sheer off Lowell. Effects felt hundreds of miles away. We've also got to watch the Atlantic as another system is set to run through the eastern Caribbean and then up north. We've got a northern flow with high pressure blocking the southeastern states, so... Trouble will drop to the north. Major storms coming in these areas tonight. Gotta call a flood watch for southeastern portions of the South American continent here with the convergence begging for massive downpours. The same two stories in Europe. The northern low is driving that moisture ashore from the west while the Mediterranean funnels the same up north into the continent. Another lighter day down under with moisture flows coming onshore Australia from the east and west. Just minor alerts in this area. 5,000 miles. The Mobile Observatory Project crested the 5,000 mile mark on our journey yesterday. Head to observatoryproject.com and see when we're in your area. Montana this week, western Canada next week. We've got the storm zones for the rest of the planet followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 a.m. Local Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.